Welcome Libra, we're going to be looking at what it is that uh, you need help with right now, or guidance with, um, and potentially it's going to be a love reading, or it might not be, it might just be about any relationship in your life, but we're using the love as oracle, so we will see, let's have a look, three cards for Libra please. On the floor. There we go. Okay, Libra, let me get this one. Okay, Libra, first card out is this one here. There is no title. Okay, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural fl flow of life and it create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Very good. Okay, next card is this card. Beautiful. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, and next card here. Notice there's some kind of thing there on her third eye. I thought it was, interestingly enough, a scorpion when I first looked at it, but I don't think it is hard to see and I can't like I can't zoom in on it <laughs> um but yeah anyway anyway uh, next card here is a sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss hmm interesting interesting Going into that centre right, <sighs> bringing your heart down to that centre of that um, area where that union takes place, but not just that, but your sacral chakra as well, because that's where the sexual centre actually is. So, yeah, interesting. Okay. So, our. Follow your intuition. Oh, I love this. I love this. So this is coming under life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Okay. Yeah, like there's a connection to each cycle. Each cycle that comes into our life, like there's this um, kind of a, like a common thread going through it. And um, I just wonder if it's the common thread that can make it difficult to go with the flow at times. Um, yeah. Yeah. It could very well be. But anyhow, using your intuition. I love this card here. This is because she's going here. She's allowing the owl, which is representing that intuition, right? That inner wisdom to lead. Um, not letting the head get in the way at all. And so I feel like for some of you, this could actually be about going to, going overseas, going overseas, because they're flying over the sea, right, going to new pastures, Ooh, and that flipped out quick, we've got rainbow here, mm -hmm. see this is, this is, this is interesting because this light here is shining from the heart and the rainbow appears, right? But the rainbow is appearing beneath her and yet there is there is darkness around her, which is interesting, but that's the light. It's the light projecting in here through the heart that allows the rainbow to take form, right? And so... 
feel like it's not necessarily about the light, it's actually about the intuition. And not justifying the intuition with thought. Purely heart-based. Getting in that space of being purely heart-based. We have thorn. Yeah, see this is it, right? This vine of roses here. There are more thorns than there are roses. And I suppose this is sort of like appreciating that this is what life is you know there's beautiful roses and we take the time to enjoy those and allow those to flower and bloom and enjoy their presence and yet as we travel the path to the next rose um, or the next flower there's all these hurdles and obstacles and thorns and things that hurt us along the way right and and that's part of it and we can feel very vulnerable. And, and the thing is that sometimes we don't want to um, actually step out um, onto the vine again because it's like, oh, no, I'm scared I'm going to get hurt or I'm scared of whatever it is that you're afraid of, right? Um, but the interesting thing that I find here is that this vine actually looks like antlers coming from this animal which I can only assume is a deer and I'm not sure what the message is about that but I haven't noticed that about that card before so, okay okay so it's the mind thing right it's the, the the antlers are coming from the mind right from the head and so it's about seeing these um, things that appear to us as thorns, as opportunities to learn and grow. Okay, letting go, learn to let go. Yeah, see? Learn to let go, I love this. No expectations, yeah? Tell me more about letting go. Oh, I like this. Mirage, see, this is the illusion of the mind, right? The thorns, the illusion of the thorns and what they are doing to you because the next card we have here is bloom. You see, this is focusing on, on those flowers in this card. There are no thorns. You know, what you can perceive to be hurts and, and um, trials and tribulations are really mere illusions that are there simply to get to you to the next blooming phase right so the 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 flowers wouldn't be able to appear and um and actually open up and do you know go through that cycle if it wasn't for the the journey along the vine to the next flower each flower is representing a portion of your journey, right? And so in order for you to bloom in this one here, it's a matter of letting go, letting go of the things. Um, when we're talking about relationships here, letting go of the relationships that, that aren't serving you, yeah? Um, so, yeah very interesting like i think with the mirage card here like seeing things for how they really are seeing yourself first and foremost for how it is um because we can keep ourselves in the dark about that and not really see things or be honest with ourselves about it so the other thing i want to say about this is there's a new beginning on the horizon um so not everything is as it seems know that okay so deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right see again this is this intuition i feel um and it's all about focusing on you really I, this is so interesting libra because libra libra 
Um, because even though this is about relationships and stuff like that, the most crucial piece in a relationship that you are in is yourself. And the most crucial relationship that you will ever have in your life is that with yourself. So this could even be a reflection of the relationship you have with yourself. So I would say that with whatever is coming out here, apply it to the relationship that you have with yourself first and foremost before applying it to the relationship that you have with anyone else. Okay, so gratitude. Be grateful for all that you have. Beautiful. I feel like I'm seeing these little kids down here. And I actually feel like this is about you being grateful for the inner child that is within you to pay that attention and see um, the the joy that that can bring you. Okay, we at crossroads. So there's a decision to be made here in Ardua. Okay, and I, I love this because this here um, is this. This enthusiasm and this passion, right? This indecision of, oh, I don't know which way to go. Which way shall I go, right? Um, it, it could be weighing heavy on you. So this could be where the gratitude comes in. Be grateful you have a choice. You know, be grateful that you're not forced into something that you may not necessarily want. You know, so in that regard... Um, have enthusiasm for each option that you have and just see what sits, sits with you. Okay, we have creative wonderment. Follow your passion. See, we're talking about the intuition here. And, you know, this passion is really the this um, what is going to help you to go, okay, this is definitely what I want to do, you know. Um, not what makes sense, but what I want to do. All right, we have flight here. Yeah, get ready to fly. This is the whole thing, right? Cosmic child. Um, this is so interesting because I feel like this. there's this need to let this inner child out to play um, in a massive, massive way. You know, if you were to sit there and ask the child, what is it you want to do? They're going to give you all these ideas and, you know, let's do this and let's play this and let's play that. Like, just watch watch the children around you if there are any or remember back to when you were a child and how you just did things without caring what anyone else did, thought or said you know and open up to that both these children here have their arms wide open ready to receive ready to just be right ready to fly so yeah that's super cool I love that Okay, so sexual union, honour the place in one another where you are, one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Nice. And I really feel like this is, like I keep going back to the sacral chakra here. Like the... Um, the belly button and the connection to the eternal life life force that that is right that's what we all have in us and um yeah for some reason that is popping up for me we have celebration let go and have fun yep i love that let go and have fun you know have fun without thinking about it have fun without planning it have fun without having to be in the boundaries of constraint of comfort for you right just let go and have fun go and get dirty go and mess your hair up go and play in the month you know let go like literally let go um the tree remembers look at this there's these children gathered around the tree again right and this is this growth this is this growth into this powerful being yeah the tree remembers where it came from. It remembers each leg of the journey. It remembers each cycle. It remembers the storms. It remembers the summers. It remembers the good times. It remembers the bad. It remembers everything it took to get there. It remembers that every every season the leaves will fall in order for new ones to um, come out and replace the old, right? 
So the tree stands in its power of that growth and allows it to happen. It goes with the flow. Beehive, yep. See, this is it. This is about everyone working together in order to create what it is that needs to be created to bring this goodness into your life. Okay, we have choices. Make the best choices. And this card so intrigues me because I'm like, if we knew what the best choices were, would we not make it? You know, but not necessarily because those best choices could be way out of our comfort zone. They could be, you know, not really what we want, right? Sometimes the best choices can be the scariest. So, yeah. Two cards for best choices, please. Okay, so we've got one on the floor and then we've too many. One more. One more. Thank you. Okay, let me pick this one up. Okay, Libra, I love this because look at this cocoon stage. And this is what I was saying about this new beginning before, right? Of being in this cocoon stage and it feels messy and it feels um, it's not comfortable. You know, there's, there's a transition going on. There's change happening. And, um, and it may even be quite painful. You know, the fact of the matter is that there is light at the end of the tunnel. The fog will clear and you'll be able to go forward seeing things clearly. At the moment is trusting. And this is where your intuition is coming in. Trust. Trust that you'll be taken care of. Trust that it will all be okay. And know that whatever is going on is, is actually the best thing for you. Even if it doesn't seem like it right now. Okay, even if it doesn't seem like it, because with the beehive, they work tirelessly to create what it is that they create as a team, right, as a unit. And they do that and they do that till the cows come home. And even when the cows come home, they're still doing it, right? And it's for the, the betterment of the entire bee colony, right? Is it a colony? I was thinking congregation, but I don't think that's the right word. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, yeah, so, you know, um, just know that that regardless of what stage you're in, in this transition, okay, um, that there is light at the end of the tunnel and you will come into the clearing. Okay, so have faith. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.